All right, folks, um, I want to show you how to calculate voltage drops across uh, resistances um, and what we mean by a voltage drop. So this is a circuit we're going to play around with using our SPICE schematics simulation tool. Um, we got a 20 volt DC power supply. And we got two resistors, R1 and R2, that are both one kilo ohm resistors. Um, now, the circuit that's given to you, um, our, uh, V1, our voltage source is connected to ground here. And R2 is uh, connected to ground as well. So remember, that's all usually abbreviated GND. Uh, if you were writing this circuit using um, kind of what you did like in physics, what you would probably have is like this end connected around like that. So don't, don't be confused by the fact that there are two separate grounds. All ground is the same. Um, and so if we're working through solving this circuit using Ohm's law, just like you've you know, solved probably a bazillion circuits by now. Uh, what we think about is what the equivalent um, resistance is. And if I have two circuits in series, the equivalent resistance is just going to be the sum of those series resistances. And so if I were to draw an equivalent circuit, I've got my voltage source, I've got my um, equivalent resistance, and this is all connected back around, and this is my ground, this is my low voltage. Uh, so for series resistors, um, it's just R1 plus R2, which in this case is pretty simple, that's just 2 kilo ohms. Um, and I still got a 20 volt power supply. So I've got, you know, one voltage, I've got one resistor. Um, if I'm using those two values, I'm probably trying to find current. Um, and so we know Ohm's law, V equals IR, so voltage is 20 volts. Um, I, well, we don't know what I is, but we do knew, know that the equivalent resistance is 2 kilo ohms. Uh, do you remember that kilo is a you know, shorthand for 1,000, and so what this really means is 2 times 1,000 ohms, or 2,000 ohms. So my current in this case is going to be uh, if I divide both sides by 2K, then it's going to be 20 divided by 2K, or 2,000. You know, do, do, zeros cancel out, twos cancel out, so I've got 1 over 100, otherwise known as 0 0.01 amps. And so I know that the current going through the circuit is... Oh, good to know, Joe. Um, the current going through this circuit is one hundredth of an amp. Um, and so what we've talked about with these series circuits, we're going to see this here using our circuit simulation software. Um, this current I here for my series circuit and this current I here, it's the exact same current. And since these poor little electrons have nowhere else to go except through R1 and then through R2, uh, we know this current's going to be the same. Uh, now, if we're talking about series circuits, uh, we've talked about this idea that the voltage across R1 and the voltage across R2, well, in this case, that's got to add up to my input voltage. And we can figure out what the voltage again, across these two resistors are pretty easily. Um, and if we think about, you know, voltage always has, you know, a positive and a negative side. It's a difference between... Um, the voltage on one side of something and the other. For example, with my battery, um, it's supplying you know, 20 volts, it's pumping out current at a potential of 20 volts. That's the difference between the voltage here, which is zero, and the voltage here, which is going to be the voltage of my power supply. We can think about the same thing uh, for my resistors. So for example, if I look at R1, you know, this is maybe the positive side of R1, that's the negative side of R1. I can try to figure out what this voltage drop across R1 is. And it's a very, very simple application of Ohm's law. So if I'm going to solve for the voltage across R1, well, we know Ohm's law says that's I times R. Well, I, in this case, is just, you know, I, because uh, the current's the same in the circuit, times, in this case, R1. I is 0 0.01 amps times R1 is 1 kilo ohm, 1,000. 
uh, 1,000 times 0 0.01, so that's, you know, taking off two zeros, ah, that's going to be 10 volts. Um, and of course, you know, the exact same calculation will work for R2, uh, because these are the same resistances. Uh, so we see that I've got 10 volts drop across R1. So if we think about going up from you know, ground, which is always my zero volts in the circuit, I'm going up 20 volts. I'm going across R1, I'm losing 10 volts. Going across R2, I'm going to lose 10 volts again. And then I'm back down to zero volts. So that's what we mean when we talk about a voltage drop across an element of a circuit like a resistor.